In today's video, I'm building my first CPU mining rig. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at MaxiMiners.com. With crypto mining hardware prices at all time lows, it's important to find a company you can trust for your ASIC purchases. The team at MaxiMiners.com is here to help. Carrying some of my favorite brands like Bitmain, Jazzminer, Goldshell, iPolo, What's Miner, Ice River, and many more. In the current bear market, every dollar counts. MaxiMiners.com is a great place to start shopping for your next ASIC purchase with their competitive prices. Offering convenient payment methods like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. Looking to purchase an ASIC miner but can't run it at home? MaxiMiners.com has you covered with hosting in Dubai, Paraguay, Norway, and even the United States. Finally, need your miner ASAP? MaxiMiner.com has you covered with two to four day shipping right to your home. Go check out MaxiMiners.com today via the link in this video's description down below. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, today I'm building my first CPU mining rig. Just two weeks ago, I went ahead and did a video on Zephyr and CPU mining on your GPU mining rigs to earn a little extra income and fill your bags just a tiny bit. Most of my GPU mining rigs have real basic, real simple CPUs and wasn't really doing the trick for me. It got me by, I got a little bit in my bag of Zephyr, but let's be honest, I really need something more. So in today's video, you guys are joining me to build my first CPU mining rig. All right, so let's take a look at what we'll be using for our build today. And I'll be honest with you, most of these parts I already have and either didn't realize it or it was in another rig. So first let's talk about our processor. So here we have, and I'll try to show it on camera, the Ryzen 9 3900X. Now, this I just pulled out of this guy. This is my editing and gaming rig. It was in here. I honestly totally forgot about it. I've had this rig for a few years now. On Black Friday, I decided to go ahead and upgrade this to a 5950X and as well as the 64 gigabytes of memory. So that went ahead and freed up this CPU for me, which worked out awesome. And, you know, kind of gave me a little push to get this into a CPU mining rig. So 3900X, super common uh, CPU for mining. I've watched lots of Rebin mining videos, Seb Heslo videos. A lot of these guys are using the 3900Xs. So awesome, we're on the right track. Now, quick PSA, I am super new to CPU mining. So bear with me, leave comments down below, feel free to correct me and feel free to give advice. So for a cooler, I had this guy and this is in one of the AMD, I guess they're called the Race. And I honestly have no clue where I got it from. I, I, I was checking all my stock and inventory. It could have been from like a Newegg Shuffle that I had won. I know I got the power supply, we'll talk about that in a minute, from a Newegg Shuffle. No clue where I got this from, but I have learned that this is a pretty decent cooler for CPU mining, so we're gonna be using that today. Now for our motherboard, this one came from a Newegg Shuffle. I think I got like a 3060, I think it was like the EVGA 3060 XC that I had purchased. And I got along this Gigabyte B450M motherboard. It's nothing crazy, but it'll get the job done and is pretty decent. Now for hard drive here, somebody had recommended this and helped me with PC parts picker. So look how mini this is. It says like Lenovo on it. So it's like a small little 16 gigabyte hard drive. I'm gonna be curious if this even works. I know it'll slot right into your normal slot here, which will be fine, but like, I'm used to like M2s and MSATAs and stuff like that. So we'll see if this works. I'm skeptical. Uh, for our memory here, we do have some leftover memory that I pulled just out of that editing uh, and a gaming rig. Uh, this here is the Titan Z and it is 3200. And the CL is CL16 and we are at 1818.38. So it's 1.35 volts. So we're gonna be sticking that in here. It'll give us uh, you know, a decent amount of memory there in this rig, which will be awesome. 
So then followed by that, let's talk about our power supply. So this came, another new egg shuffle. This is like all that hardware that you start to like accumulate. This is a 750 watt gold EVGA power supply. So we'll be using that for today's build, which will be nice, especially it's a super supernova. So better quality as well as modular. And finally, to get us started and off the ground, we are using this guy and check it out. This is an NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 2060. Look at this thing, man. These things are solid. Um, I'm going to be using it just to get us started for today's build. So I'm going to go ahead, throw on a little music, have a drink, and build myself a CPU mining rig. <laughs> Well, that was kind of fun, uh, to be honest with you. Nice, short, sweet, to the point. Uh, did need to look up a few things on the manual here and there, but here we are. I don't even know if this thing's gonna power up. We'll have to go ahead and test it and find out. Our first CPU mining rig here, we still have lots to do. So went ahead and got our Wraith um, Prism Cooler installed that worked out great. Um, everything, I ended up using the previous brackets uh, that were on this unit here that were with the motherboard. So that worked out nicely. Everything came together there. I think the one cable off of this goes to USB I saw. So I plugged it right in here on the motherboard. This other one, I'm not really too sure. I think this is like an RGB for like RGB controller or something. Has a little pin and then has this magnetic end. I'm not entirely positive. Leave a comment down below. Please let me know, educate me, which would be great. Uh, memory, I did need to look up on the manual to see exactly what <clears throat> excuse me, what dim slots we need to use. So it goes one, two, three, four. So we used one and two, which are the first one here, and then it skips to the to the next one over to there. Uh, other than that, nothing else too, too crazy. Power supply, look at this, man. This would be a great GPU mining rig power supply. I mean, it's only 750 watts, but you could do great with a few GPUs there, uh, especially with all those VGA connections. So got our motherboard cable wired, got our VGA or our GPU cable wired and our CPU cable, which worked out nicely. These are actually really long. Uh, the, the cable drives me nuts for management. Like how do you guys, other CPU miners, how do you like deal with all like this shit, like cable, <laughs> cables everywhere. Like, how do you deal with it? Let me know, comment down below, would really appreciate it. So what do I have left? So um, I do need to get, uh, I have our hard drive over here. I'm gonna put Hive OS on it, but I do wanna go ahead and see if I can get it to boot. That's why we have our GPU here. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm just impressed that it started. Look at that. Heck yeah, look at that RGB, that looks sick. All right, we've had our BIOS updated. Let's go ahead and take a look. So if I go over to the system, you can see we're now on F65B versus the F52, which is awesome. We're two years newer than where we were. So a few settings I wanna go over and set. If you guys have additional ones, please let me know. As I said, newer at CPU mining. 
So under power, under AC back, we're gonna go ahead and update that. And I wanna change that to always on. So when that switch is flicked on the back of the power supply or power is lost and comes back on, it puts it in a power on state, which is good. Now let's tweak some performance here. So under MIT, we're going to go to the first one here with the advanced frequency settings. And we're gonna scroll down to CPU ratio mode. We want that to be set to all cores, which is where we are now. Now for your CPU clock ratio, this is one that we wanna to change to 36. So with this BIOS, it's so archaic, hold down the space bar and that will tick up and you can slow down right around the 36 and just single tap it because you don't want to go too far. There we go. So that is set to 36, which is awesome. Now a setting I have not exactly been able to find yet is the CPU V core. So if you guys find CPU V core, I did some research, a lot of people recommended it. Not necessarily, I couldn't find anything on this direct motherboard and BIOS, but where you set it in here, I do want to set it to one for all of my cores. So if you guys know where that is, please shout out to me, leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. So we're going to go into advanced CPU settings in here, and we're going to turn off core performance boost. We don't want this to interrupt or interfere with our mining. So we're going to set that to disable. We're now going to go back to where we were and we want to set our memory. So we're going to come in here for our memory for XMP and we're going to bump that up to profile of one. That'll get our memory up to where we are now, which is our, our DDR4 3200, which is awesome. So last thing, uh, if you guys are interested in doing it is if you come up to the top under peripherals, if you're going to be running any GPUs in this, I don't plan to, but you guys may come down here to above 4G decoding and change that. You can just go on it and change that to enabled. Once that's done, let's go ahead and head over to save and exit, and we're gonna boot into Hive OS. All right, it's time to boot into Hive OS. Now, I did have to go ahead. This isn't gonna work. I don't, I don't know if I ordered the wrong thing or what, uh, but this isn't gonna work for what I'm looking to do. So I just need to get a regular M2. I think I'll be fine. If you guys have any recommendations on certain drives that you find are best for CPU mining and why, leave them down below. I'd love to know more. So what I did was I went ahead and put Hive OS on this little SAM disk USB drive, a little better quality one uh, on there. Put Hive OS on here like you normally would, as well as the uh, rig config file. If you guys are completely unsure, like how do I load Hive OS on a, on a rig? I have a full guide on that. I call it my ultimate Hive OS install guide. I'll put a link directly down below to that. Okay, so we got a little USB uh, monitor here, keyboard and mouse here. Let's go ahead, flip our switch. Um, oh, maybe it's the wrong way. Hey, check that out. Dude, I'm still a huge fan of that RGB. Look at that. Looks so good. Oh, we got boot coming up on here. We saw Gigabyte there. Are we going to see Hive OS? Come on. Heck yeah. There it is. Now the goal is, can it take, can it go all the way? <laughs> we'll give it a minute here. There it is. Heck yeah. I'm trying to like angle it a little bit for you. Cool. All right, so let's jump over to the computer and let's get this set up to mine Zephyr. All right, so taking a look here on the computer while I'm actually waiting for Hive OS to update, jumped over to rabidmining.com. He has a full CPU mining calculator. Did put in our 3900X on here. It does show on random X, we should be looking at about 12,600 hashes there. Uh, when I scroll down a little bit, if I'm on Zephyr, it looks like we'll be right around, looks like a dollar and 57 cents a day currently right now. So awesome, sounds good. Like, hey, we've come a long way during this bear market. When I jump over to nice hash, go ahead and if I was to put this on there, it'd be very similar, a dollar and 50 cents per day which is really, really good. I mean, hey, we'll take it 100%. So jumping over to Hive OS, let's go ahead and refresh here. And we are in the software and ready to go. Now, we are going to be setting up to mine Zephyr. And I actually just did a video two weeks ago on setting up a wallet. Um, we used the QT wallet and then going ahead and actually adding it to Hive OS. So I am gonna skip that step here. But if you guys do want a step-by-step -step more hands-on guide, I do have that video. I'll link that directly down below. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our flight sheet. 
And we're gonna come in here, do new flight sheet. We're gonna select our coin, which is Zeph. For wallet, we're gonna select our core wallet. For pool, uh, for today, we're going to use Hero Miners. And we're going to select SSL URL and we're gonna go down to USA East Coast. Apply that. For our miner, we're gonna go ahead and use the XMR rig new. And we're gonna do setup miner config. Once we're in here, we're going to go over top of the I bubble and we're going to select the 1248. And for CPU configuration, we're going to select that and we're going to click here and it will add in this configuration information. Now, super important here, you wanna make sure that this toggle is not set to CPU off or else you're really gonna struggle. So make sure this green, this little toggle here to the right is not gray, make sure it is green. Go ahead and click on that and scroll to the very bottom and hit apply. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and name this CPU rig, I'm gonna do Zeph, and then I always like to uh, name XM rig. I always like to put in the minor information there. We'll even put in new, uh, and we're gonna hit create flight sheet, which is perfect, awesome. So now we're gonna go back over to our workers, go into CPU rig, and we're gonna select the flight sheet, and we're going to find our Zeph one here, and we're going to apply. And let's go ahead and give this a few minutes and we'll check back in and see how we're doing. All right, we've been up and running for about 10 minutes now. I did go ahead and remove the 2060 here uh, and we're about 12.5 on the random X algorithm. Here in HiveOS, we're just below 60C. Let me know, leave a comment down below. Is that good? Was that good temps for CPU mining? Uh, am I good to go? I don't have any concerns. Please leave a comment down below, let me know. As I said, I'm learning. Jumping over to Hero Miners, uh, we're on the Zephyr pool, scrolling down, and uh, I put in my address, and we're at $1.69 a day currently right now. So hey, I'll take it, you know, looking pretty good. You can see my rig is in there. It's actually registering 13.20 uh, on the hash rate there, but we really should let this run for several hours before we go ahead looking at that. But not too bad. I mean, if we stay where we are, we're almost $12 a week, and we're about 50 bucks a month. Now, something that we have to think about is like, what does our watts look like? All right, we got our rig hanging out, sitting here, mining away on Zephyr. I still can't get over how cool the RGB looks like on that. Uh, huge shout out to Keaton from the Hive OS team. He actually recommended uh, this cooler. So thank you, Keaton. Appreciate that, looks awesome. All right, so we have our power supply. It's the EVGA 750 G6 Supernova wired over to a watt meter over here. And I don't know if I can give you guys an angle here, but it's using 132 watts total currently right now for our entire rig. Not too bad. We do have a decent power supply in place though, so that definitely helps us out here. We could really tweak this if we were really concerned about watts. You know, we could turn off the RGB there a little bit. But other than that, I am thrilled. Guys, my first CPU mining rig. This probably took me 10 times longer than it should have, but I'm super excited. I asked for a ton of help in today's video. Ton of questions, ton of comments. Please leave them directly down below. Are you guys CPU mining? If so, what do you guys got going on right now? Leave some comments. Would love to learn more from you guys. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to be notified when I drop my next CPU mining video, go ahead and click that bell and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.